Hey everybody, it's your boy Jeff Fox, man, the Jeff Fox Show. We are out here in the trenches where it all goes down. Caught up with an old friend, Chris Chambers, of course, one of the greatest badges of all time, but also a great Miami Dolphin. How you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. I'm, uh, I'm in my element. You know, I'm on the field. I'm helping kids. I'm helping athletes. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm blessed right now, man, to be able to kind of give some of this knowledge up and uh, have some fun while I'm doing it. No doubt. We, you know, we just caught up recently, and, of course, uh, we were talking about the gym and all that stuff you've been doing since you retired. Yeah. It's good to see you back out here, man, with with young kids, uh, college players, uh, pro players. Uh, talk about what it's been like out here and what you're primarily doing out here. Yeah, it's been great. You know, so, uh, I kind of went ghost once I retired, um, and then I ended up finding a facility and opened up my own uh, sports performance facility called the Chamber, Chamber Fitness. It was in Davie. Right. I ran that for five years, um, got a chance to learn a lot in the performance industry. I got a chance to meet a lot of athletes. I got a chance to meet a lot of people, and uh, it was good to be able to see kids kind of grow up through our system and now see them in college. And then from there, I joined FitSpeed uh, staff as their football director of operations, and it's been a blessing, man, because because they have a, a good structure, a nice facility. Uh, we're here in Weston where the fields are beautiful, um, you know, and I got a chance to take advantage of that. And then we, we put together programs as the season goes. So now we consider this the preseason program. So preseason prep for high school kids. Everybody in football right now, if you ain't grinding right now, you're not going to be doing what you need to do. And so this is a grind time of the year. Usually after the fourth, a lot of pros start training at various facilities. Um, some of our college guys are still here, D1, AA, D2, D3 kids. They get to stay home for the summer, get a chance to work. And then we run a bunch of camps. So you see from all the way from the youth all the way to the pro, just a lot of development. Um, obviously some of the messaging is the same, but you got to kind of water it down as you get kind of lower. Right. And uh, it's just good to be able to compete, too, because some of these guys are getting ready for their season. Uh, some of these guys are called NFL hopefuls. So our mm -hmm. NFL hopefuls guys are guys who, who didn't make it out of college that first year, that second year, that third year. Some of these guys are 29, 30 years old with aspiration of still becoming a pro. Right. And so if they come to me, you know, I don't reach too much to people. But if you come to me and you come into our family, then my, my goal is to help you as much as possible. So if I can't get you in NFL, we'll try CFL. If we can't do CFL, I'll send you to Europe. Right. All right. So we, they still got a lot of good football in Europe. Uh, they have great leagues out there. Since the NFL left, they, them, some of the old teams are still established. Mm -hmm. So we'll send guys over there. And now we have coming up here the AAF, the American Alliance, who's ran by a lot of pro guys, a like, lot of ex-general managers, a lot of professional uh, coaches. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a very quality league. And I'm looking for that to be the minor league of the NFL, which the NFL is always, always needed. Because you'll miss a guy, you know, one or two times. you put him on practice squad, or you may not even get a chance to do that. Now we have a whole league dedicated for 10 weeks after the NFL season where now fans can continue to watch football. Yes. They continue to play fantasy football. They continue to gamble. <laughs> they continue to kind of do all those things that they love doing and they just don't even stop. At the same time, the players are given an opportunity to be seen by pro coaches during the off time. So you bridge all that together with the combine, with everything else. You're talking about 24-7, 365 of football and, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah, a geek like me would really appreciate that yeah. because I'm telling you, I, I watch NFL Europe, the Frankfurt Galaxy, and all those other teams. And, of course, we got the XFL coming back. You got arena football. There's football everywhere. Yeah. So it, it, it's, it must be, you know, really, really fulfilling for you to come out here and work with these guys out here. And, and keep their dreams alive, man. Keep their hopes going. No, no doubt. And uh, I have a wealth of knowledge uh, playing here in Miami. We went through several coaches, uh, coordinators. We went through uh, several uh, um, uh, receiver coaches. And, you know, I can name a few. I had Chan Gailey when I first came in. Then I had North Turner, which North Turner offense. I've always tried in the offense for whatever reason. It was just, it fit me perfectly. Then we had uh, we had Cam Cameron. Right. And then we, uh, I don't even know who else. Somebody quit and we had somebody else. And then I went over to San Diego, had a chance to work with Norv again and, and work with Charlie Joyner and uh, uh, yeah that Joyner. Cho great Charlie Joyner he was like 70 some still <laughs> and uh, he was out there coaching and I had James Lofton I had James wow. Lofton too so I had both of them so I'm, I'm sitting here like with this big old head of stuff that I'm just trying to give back as much as I possible so I poured into the kids I poured into the high school college and the pros and, and that's what I'm doing right now man it feels good to do it you know what I remember a game in Dallas I think it was on the turkey day when you had a big, big game. Remember that game when you showed out out there? Is that one of the ones that stand out to you when you think back to the glory days? Yes. Uh, no doubt. Uh, it's probably the, the third time I had three touchdowns in a game. I had one my first game ever 
and as a JV, I scored three three touchdowns. Right. I didn't know what I was doing, but I got it in the end zone three times. Another time I did it in college, and then that was the first time I did it in the pros. And it was a coming out party for me. Uh, it was a game that uh, that Dallas was really good at the time. They had right. a really yes, good team. Uh, we had a good team, but we wasn't winning games at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, it sparked us, though. Actually, that, after that game, I think we went on a nice little run. And um, and I always tell people that Wants has always been like a defensive coordinator. But that that point, that game, because Norv has such a, a tie with Dallas, mm -hmm. he, he took the chains off of Norv, and Norv called every play we practice. Wow. Every play we practice, and you don't get that. Usually you practice plays for weeks and weeks and months. Like, man, when are we going to run this thing? Right. We Everything we practice, we, we, we'll be preached, and we went out there and beat their butt. Situational football. Yeah. The great Chris Chambers, of course, uh, looks like he can still go out there and run a few, uh, a little bit. <laughs> all right, it's Jeff Fox, the Jeff Fox Show. Uh, Chris, let's catch up again, all right? No doubt, man. Talk to you guys later.